Hello, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you 7 exclusive features available on Casio FX Nanon EX class switch scientific calculator. This is the older model Nanon ES. I have already uploaded more than 65 videos explaining how to use all the features on this calculator. This is the next generation version having more features. Feature number 1, insert feature. Let's type in some formula 2 plus 1. Now if I press this fraction button, it will dynamically give me the fraction. But on the older model, 2 plus 1. Now if I press this fraction button, it will do nothing. Basically, I have to bring the template, then insert the values. Now if I want to enter root over this 1 by 9, if I press this root button, it will just bring the template. Press del, now press shift and del for the insert operator. Cursor will change, now press the root button, it will cover the 1 by 9. Press equals to button to get answer, which is 7 by 3. Now I can store this answer value in any of the 7 available variables. This button for variable A, this button for B, C, T, X, Y and M, where M is called independent memory. If you store something in M, there will be an M icon on the screen. Let's store the value in variable A. For that, press STO and this button for A. So the answer is stored to variable A. I will come to that later. Press AC. Feature number 2, Smart Solar. This calculator has a larger solar panel compared to this one and there is a smart solar icon here. When the calculator is getting powered either partially or fully from the solar panel, the icon will be there. But if you cover this solar panel with something, the icon will go away. Using the solar panel more cause your battery to last longer. My this calculator is running more than 5 years without changing the battery. Feature number 3, dice thrower. If you throw a dice, there can be a number in between 1 to 6. That can be availed on this calculator. For that, press alpha and this dot button for random integer function. Enter the first value, which is 1. Press shift and this right bracket for comma. Then type 6 and bracket close. Press equals to. So each time you press equals to button, the calculator will generate a random number in between this range 1 to 6. You can change the range. Now the calculator will generate a random number in between 1 to 100. Feature number 4, Smart Recall. Press Shift and this STO button to recall all the values stored in all the variables. I have stored 7 by 3 in variable A. But on the older model, you have to press alpha, then that variable key, then equals to, to see the value stored in that variable. But here, everything is displayed in a single screen. That's called Smart Recall. Feature number 5, Prime Number Factorization. Enter any number, press equals to button, then press shift and this comma button to get Prime Number Factorization of that number. So Prime Number Factorization of 24 is 2 cube into 3. 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2 into 23 is Prime Number Factorization of 24. I have a separate video explaining the prime number factorization from very basics. Also, how to do prime number factorization without using a calculator. Link to that video is in the video description below. Sixth feature, spreadsheet. For that, press menu. You can either scroll to the icon spreadsheet and press equals to or you can directly type 8 to go to spreadsheet mode. So here you have total 5 columns A to E and 45 rows from 1 to 45. So you have total 45 into 5, 225 cells to enter values. These are large database. You can also execute and do almost any kind of formulas on this calculator. So let's do a simple mathematics. Let's enter some values. To enter the value, type in the value and press equals to to enter. The cursor will come down to the next cell. So I want to find out summation of all the values in row 1 that is A1 to C1, 
rho 2 that is a2 to c2 and rho 3 a3 to c3 and I will execute the formula in d1, d2 and d3. So first I will enter the formula in d1 only, press option, type 1 for fill formula, scroll right and enter the formula, press option, scroll down, 4 for summation, press alpha and this button for a, 1, press alpha, this button for colon, alpha, this button for c, 1, bracket close. Press equals to to enter the formula. It will come to the next option called range. And I want to do the same thing for row 2 and row 3 without entering the formula again. So I will scroll right and change it to D3. So the formula will be copied to the cell D2 and D3 also. And this colon icon indicates the range from D1 to D3. Press equals to, press equals to again to execute the formula it will find out summation of all numbers in row 1 that is 1 plus 4 5 plus 7 12 in row 2 2 plus 5 7 plus 8 15 in row 3 3 plus 6 9 plus 9 is 18 and if you scroll down you can see the formula changing a3 colon c3 and now if you press this on button or turn off the calculator or switch to any other mode all the values entered in spreadsheet mode will vanish so how to store these values for forever for that, come to 7th feature which is QR code generator. Press shift and this option button to generate a QR code. Now you can read this QR code using Casio Edu Plus application or any compatible browser. Let me show you that. Now click on this Casio Edu Plus application icon available on the Google Play Store and Apple iOS Store. Click on QR code. Show the QR code. It has recognized. Click open in browser. Select a browser. Remember to select a dynamic type of browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Don't use a static browser. It will also generate the graph for your entire data and here is our spreadsheet data. You can press back again and all your scanned data will be there in the history option. You can also use a modern browser such as latest version of Opera Mini which has a built-in QR code scanner. Remember to turn off single column view option for this option to work and reload the page. You can see it will show you the same data. You can also bookmark by this plus icon and this unsorted bookmarks option. So that's it for now. Share your views in the comment section below and give a thumbs up and share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then stay connected by subscribing.